very warm greetings everyone i hope you are well we're going into a watery adventure my name is nick on zx spectrum 48k i'm looking at a game called aquarius published by bug bite in 1983 now you are the commander of a frogman team i don't know where the rest of the team are it's just you on your own and you must destroy death machines which an enemy government have plilt for some reason now at the end of each stage if you get there you'll be given a secret code there's no code here because we're on stage one uh, we'll just keep going until we get some ender level uh, wall or something. We have to shoot various bits in the right order. So here I am. It looks very, very basic. We go up and down. I can fire this spear here, but you can't stop. The screen continuously scrolls, a bit like Flappy Bird. Occasionally a shark will come after you. There it is there. It looks like it will turn. Will it turn back? There's mines there. Don't crash into them. An octopus is coming down as well, and I've been killed. So the main enemies are Red Octopus and Black Shark and Jellyfish, which let's stay out of the way. Don't crash into landmines or you're dead. But yes, um, this is pretty much how it is. Basic for 1983, but that was the way the era was. It's not very, very smooth. The diver looks a little bit constipated. Now all the time, you might have noticed already down the bottom, your oxygen is running out. Uh, occasionally there'll be um, extra tanks down the bottom of the screen. Got octopus and shark a tank now. Oh my goodness, there we go. Shoot, 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 yes. And the spear isn't very accurate either. Sometimes it shoots the shark, sometimes it doesn't. So the game is a bit flawed, it's a little bit annoying, but you have to look at it from a historical point of view in a bit of charm. Now, this isn't expert gameplay, you know this already. I normally say this a bit earlier. Uh, it's how you get on in your first or second go. With them enough there if you want to go and play it again. Whoa, what's that? So the screen's changed colours. So you've got to bear in mind, it's 1983. I do like the air coming from these tanks. That's well coded, so we get some more oxygen. And it looks like we're going down a cavern. Look at the way it's drawing it on the right hand side. That's very jerky indeed. This isn't smooth at all. Uh, probably could have been done with a better compiler to make it a little bit smoother than this, even for 1983. Score is 30. You get extra points if you collect, uh, well, if you shoot extra jellyfish, don't bump into them. Uh, jellyfish won't come after you, they just serve as obstacles going up and down about two or three squares. A uh, shark will come there. So it looks fairly straightforward so far. Looks like you can have a little bit of joy on the thing. If you had this game back in the day, whoops, if you had this game back in the day, then let me know. So it's a bit jarring to play, but probably forgivable for 1983. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That helps the channel continue and grow against increased competition all over the shop uh, to try and get noticed in the algorithm above non-retro gaming channels as well because uh, YouTube are obviously going to nominate things where people are going to watch. Right. Oh, go away, octopus face. Right, so the octopus is easy to navigate. My favourite underwater game on the ZX Spectrum in a similar era, oh, I killed the shark that's, this time, was Scuba Dive. Looks like the jellyfish are automatically randomly generated. More oxygen there. Shark can sometimes get blocked by jellyfish or other obstacles, so maybe you can use a bit of a speed there to try and get out of the way. The red octopus is alright, but not as impressive as the yellow octopus in Scuba Dive, so out of the two, if you want an underwater adventure game, pick that one. Check out Scuba Kids as well, tell me what you think about that, we reviewed quite a while ago. Not sure if it come out on anything else, Bug Bike was probably most famous for Manic Minor, written by um, uh, Matthew Smith, or Matt Smith. There we go, right, go! Bip, 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 bip. If you completed this, then let me know. Don't know if I'm gonna get off stage one, but it's gonna be pretty similar all the way through. Right here they come, two main baddies, and I've got, I've got pounced on by an octopi. Uh, I think the vegetation at the bottom of the sea can also kill you. Harpoon gun isn't particularly accurate, so to be brutally honest. Although it is 1983 and it is a bit basic as well, I wouldn't have played this a great deal, only because I don't know why. I, would, I, I seem to be, it's like the sort of game I'd like to break into and I've tried breaking into it and I can't. So I'm not really enjoying it a great deal. Uh, as I say, back in the day you could forgive frame rates because you didn't have much to compare it against. Uh, kids' imagination would always add a great deal extra to it. But as I say, as soon as Scooby Dive have come along, I wouldn't have played this at all. Uh, I would have thought this was quite basic compared to that one. So, you know, um, probably draws influences from games such as Penetrator in, times, in terms of the animation. Uh, here, although Penetrator uses controlling a ship, uh, like a space, sort of like one dropping bombs and stuff. 
feels a bit like this that especially when you go through the caverns the colors not bad going light blue to dark blue probably represents you're going deeper in the sea and I commend you for that they haven't picked any horrendous colors like magenta or green which is so easy to do especially on the ZX spectrum with the I thought cool palette, but as we said, limited palette compared to other 8-bit systems there. So you could really wind people's eyes up. Oh, look at what these things. Electric eels. If you are an electric eel, then comment below. Probably need you to just... Yeah, what's that? It's a big wall of stuff. I think I ran out of oxygen there, did I? Now, there is a save point. So you don't have to start right from the beginning again. Right, oxygen for me. Good. Excellent. If you are currently scuba diving, going around jellyfish, trying to avoid an octopus and a shark, and then coming up against a big wall of gemstones or whatever they are, then comment in the comment section below, but only if you've got your phone. Oh, man, you're going to be hearing this forever. Bib, 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 bib. I mean, uh, if you're scuba diving, you're not going to hear a noise like this. What's happened to his air bubbles now? They seem to have disappeared. It's like air bubbles only come every so often. Right, okay, so it's this last bit I need to crack then when that big wall turns up. Don't know what to do there. So it's going to be Electric Ill City uh, when we get out of here. Oops, missed that bit, but I've got plenty of oxygen this time, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. If you want to see others that Spectrum games we've reviewed, concentrate, Nick. Uh, there's a link to those in the description below. I think it's other Spectrum commentaries. Or if you want to see everything, and that as well, um, whoa, Electric Ill City, click on my username, takes you to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab and Spectrum will be there. Right, now what we do, right? Fire, fire, fire. Should it be like that? Should it be like that? I think the instructions say you've got to shoot these in the correct order. Uh, but I think that might be a glitch. I don't think that's loading properly. Let me know. It lied to me a bit. So I'm going to put a poke on this time, see if I can get there again for infinite lives. And we'll see if we can get through that wall. But the instructions say when you get to that bit, it seems to have light to it anyway. You've got to shoot the uh, gems or the flashing bits in the correct order. But it looks like it's moving. Oddly to say that, it looks like it's moving a bit too fast to try and do that with any great speed. Right. Yourself, I mean. Manoeuvring the character is a bit, is a bit slow. He doesn't move with the grace of the characters in Attic Attack, like the knight and the surf and the other one. The, the wizard. Oh god, I got kabooted. I don't like getting kabooted. Biff, biff, biff. Right, uh, right. shooting the mine. So you've pretty much seen everything the game has to offer. I presume if you get past that wall, it doesn't. it's not game over straight away. And you're doing maybe something similar. Maybe a more octopi come down, or octopuses, however you want to say it. But uh, there you go. Bib, 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 bib. We've viewed quite a lot of ZX Spectrum stuff now, so thank you to the people who have subscribed. Big thank you to the members too. Uh, if you want to see when new videos go up, click the bell notification there if you can do, if you're on the main side. I'm not sure it does it with uh, tablets and stuff, but if you can, click that notification and do so. Or you can follow me on Twitter, Jenkins7Nick, when new links come up. And uh, yeah, we put up links to the games and have a bit of fun as well. And we do play a lot of that stuff on the Facebook page as well. If you hate Twitter or X, since Elon Musk took over, we're on Facebook too. Right, kaboom! There we go! Oh, I don't think the poke worked, did it? I think I died. Did I die? Yeah, all right, let's try, let's have a, have a go at the poke then. I should have infinite lives this time, I hope. Fingers crossed, not eyes crossed. Let's, that poke. Let's try a different poke. Your code for this mission is, as I say, if you complete the first mission and then give you a code, which means you can jump in, I think, to further one. But I couldn't quite see where you input the code uh, to do that. Right, go. This is the last go now. Infinite lives, but let's try and play it properly. So starting off the colour blue, cyan, two blues on the ZX Spectrum, we don't count the bright one feature you can use and programmers will know, so probably four blues. But anyway, we start off cyan, don't think there's any bright one in this as far as I'm aware, and then we go to uh, uh, the dark blue, which is one on the keyboard, I think, was it? I think it was one. Uh, if we go deeper into the sea, keep collecting oxygen. I don't know who put this oxygen uh, down on the seabed, some hoodlum. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit, yeah, see... It's a bit of luck involved in shooting that shark. Just try and keep out of its way. There's another one there. Why are they all ganging up on me for? It's like that film Jaws. Jaws 2, Jaws 3 and Jaws, Jaws 4. They all got killed. Spoiler alert, too late. But why didn't all four sharks turn up at the same time? They could have done much better as a team. Which proves to me that great whites aren't very good at teamwork. Unlike dolphins. Dolphins are good at teamwork and they got that bit of laugh. But they're not asked to run call centres because it'd be very annoying on the phone. If you are a dolphin currently working in a call centre, then comment in the comment section below. Do you get free fish? Right, come on, die, you stupid shit. Oh, an octopus descended from the heavens below or, or the surface. I don't know what those doing up there. 
Uh, animation could be better on that octopus. It's not up to the standard of Horace and the Spiders, the cool animation with those spiders at the end. But uh, yeah, you know, 83, right at the beginning, really, of the ZX Spectrum's run. Um, yeah, okay, I suppose. But uh, not overly impressive. There are better ones there, but it will suffice. It will suffice. This will be my last go. I just want to get to the end. As I say, you're commander of the Frogman team, but I don't know who you're commanding because there's no one here to command. It's just you. Where's the rest of the Frogman team? Off on holiday or on the boat eating eating apple pie and custard while you go down slogging your guts out, killing yourself. So uh, the one thing I've learned from this is never, never become... Well, if you're going to join a frog team, don't become the commander because you have to do all the work. Be, be one of the other ones somewhere else. Bip, 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 bip. Right, okay, it's going to... Uh, we go past the electric eels, let it be my last last attempt to get past that wall thing. If I can't work it out, we'll get out of here. And maybe if you load it up, if it's downloadable from Spectrum Computing and World of Spectrum, if you've got an emulator, then you can work that out and let me know in the comment section below, which I'm sure one of you would do because you're a big bunch of uh, clever clogs most of the time. The... Oh, there we go. Infinite lives didn't work there. Well, never mind. I don't care. Um... Yes, I hope you... <laughs> so, sorry, I, I do care, that's a lie. I hope you liked having a look at that one. It was all right for the era, but Scuba Dive was to come to blow it clear out the water. So I hope you liked having a look at that game. That was Aquarius on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Bugbite in 1983. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius, yeah. Age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. Big nose, age of Aquarius, yeah. Age of Aquarius.